Articular fractures. Articular fractures will do better with surgery. End of story. That's what I have to tell you, especially if there's a lot of displacement. We're talking a joint and in order to have good range of motion and pain-free function, we want to have, we need to have a congruent joint. So when there's an articular fracture and there's quite a step now in the articular surface, congruency is a problem. Pain will become an ongoing issue even with healing and malunion. That doesn't mean I am suggesting that you just go ahead and start with an amputation. If you have an articular fracture and the displacement is not huge, I would try first conservative management. We're always better off with a functional limb and we are so much better at handling osteoarthritis than we used to. So clearly osteoarthritis will become a problem even if that articular fracture is repaired, right? It's just maybe the level of osteoarthritis and the level, level of comfort. Once that fracture has healed, I would really get good rehabilitation going in that joint to maximize its function, maximize its range of motion so the patient can be as pain-free as possible. Articular fractures, those are the ones that if you see an articular fracture, I would certainly encourage surgical repair of those fractures rather than conservative management. Now the one articular fracture where you could um, very much help your patient without having all the fracture management uh, training and instrumentation necessary would be a coxofemoral articular fracture. So a hip joint, uh, you can consider for sure a femoral head and neck excision and good post-op care, good rehabilitation and you may end up with a patient that or likely will have a patient that will have a very functional and comfortable hip.